we were talking about hips don't lie before you came on the call and mm -hmm. that must have been a really fun era for you to watch shakira up close go from conquering music in her own country to conquering music in america and you were part of that journey for her the record was done two years prior to shakira i did it for another artist called claudette artis and it was um i was with clive and it was on a soundtrack that clive davis was doing um uh, which was like havana nights and two years later and i okay so listen to the original record everyone that's listening you're gonna trip out so two years later i'm with charlie walk and donny island they're like yo we need a record for shakira and i'm like hmm i actually have a record that y'all could actually remix you know what i mean and they heard hips don't lie they went crazy got me and shakira on the phone shakira said she had a dream about me and Y'all already know I'm like tripping. I'm like, Shaki, what's your dream? Tell me. <laughs> yeah. So we connected in Miami and we put the cultures together. And when the cultures became together, the, it went from a record to a cultural phenomenon. That was another thing that I learned, right? Because you can have a record and it could be a hit, but a cultural phenomenon is a different thing. That's when everyone feels like they're part of that record like they are actually shakira and y clef like they you know they they do memes they have fun they're them um and what happens is for me that's like celebration of culture so and it's 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 pretty pretty amazing because you know it's like the biggest pop song like of all time in the era you know what i mean like played on the air um so it's good to be up there with Michael Jackson and Elvis record, A Little Boy from Haiti. And I would say what I remember was like, you know, when I'm remixing the record and then Shakira was like, the record is not a hit if my hips don't move. <laughs> I, I gotta tell y'all, if y'all listening, like it was very distracting. I still don't know how I got the beat done uh, watching Shakira dance like so she's uh, dancing while you're making the beat yeah yeah you feel me like it, it yeah and you got to and you got to perform that song on all the big award shows and just like have this hips don't like victory tour so to speak yeah and then it was incredible but for me as a writer because I'm always like a writer and a producer I tell people I never wanted to be in the limelight I wanted to be the person who could create the star so for me um, whether if it's Hips Don't Lie or DJ Khaled and Rihanna's Wild Thought, mm -hmm. which is my record again, which is a sample from Maria Maria that I did for Santana. Um, it just, everybody that's writers out there and producers and always remember, if you can give someone a hit, you will always have a job. Always remember that. 